I feel like this brain is fuck, a minimal esoteric programming language designed to make your brain hurt. It's Turing complete, but not designed to build actual software. It's more like a work of art that challenges the status quo. It was created in 1993 by Swiss physics student Urban Mueller. <laughs> it turns out, it turns out brain f is older than JavaScript. I'm pretty sure of it where the goal was to create a language with the smallest possible compiler. It was built for the Amiga 2.0 op- I will say that that is actually pretty cool. That it represents the smallest compiler. It's kind of a unique metric. I, I don't know. There's something about that that's, that's exciting. You know what I mean? It's just kind of exciting. Operating system. And the compiler weighs in at under 200 bytes. A brain f- How does it work? How can this, how is this possible? How can you create, look at that, it's even doing syscalls. It's doing syscalls. I don't even know, I don't know what four minus bang B means, but it's doing a syscall. You know what I mean? This is, it's incredible. I, look at this. I, how is main right here? Oh my goodness, main's recursive. Oh! <gasps> what? How's that po- I have never s- What? A recursive main? What? That can't be real. That can't- I must be misreading this. I have to be misreading it. Oh my- this- program starts with a 30,000 byte one-dimensional array. All values are initialized to zero, then it provides a movable pointer that you can manipulate with eight different commands. Use angle brackets to move the pointer left or right by one cell at a time, then increment or decrement the value in a cell using plus or minus. Use a period to output the byte at the pointer's current location, or use a comma to accept input and store it at the pointer's current location. And finally, use opening and closing brackets to create a loop. Notice how brainfuck doesn't require silly things like variables, functions, and classes. <laughs> to get started with BrainFuck, delete. <laughs> Who needs those silly things like variables and, and classes and all that? Let's go, BrainFuck. Started with BrainFuck, delete your operating system and install Amiga OS. Then create a file <laughs> ending in .bf, which stands for BrainFuck. Any characters that are not the eight I mentioned previously will be ignored as a comment. At this point, we have an array with 30,000 8 bit numbers, all set to zero. To say hi, mom, we'll need to set each number to its corresponding ASCII character. We can increment the first cell, then enter a loop with an opening bracket. For each iteration of the loop, we'll decrement the current cell by five, then use an angle bracket to move one cell to the right. We'll increment that cell by three, then move back to the left and close the loop. The loop will continue until the original cell goes back to zero, at which point it will exit. We now have a value of 103 at index one. We can move the... Oh, <laughs> I did not understand that. Okay, I must have missed that. I missed this. I somehow missed that this was a real thing. How did this get 103? Decrementing wraps. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're 255. Oh my goodness. It's so brilliant. <laughs> oh, it's using zero falsely and wrapping a byte. Oh man. Oh man. I, <laughs> I did not see that one coming. I'm laughing like someone with smoking all his life. Oh my goodness, it's too funny. To it, increment it to 104, then use a period to output it. That corresponds to the letter H in ASCII. We can increment it again to get 105, which corresponds to the letter I. Now we continue this process of manipulating memory like cavemen until we output all the characters that we need. Now to run your code, use right-click, copy, and paste it into one of the many online interpreters. Congratulations, you just said hi to your mom in BrainFuck. This has been BrainFuck in 100 seconds. If you want to see more BrainFuck content on this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe thanks for watching and i will see you in what does that code do i'm way too lazy to type this in there's just no way i want to type that in but at the exact same time i kind of want to type that in oh no oh no what has happened to me oh no google lens yeah oh subscribe to fireship
And it must be subscribed to Fireship. That's actually a pretty good... That, that, that could very well be it. Oh, man. Subscribe to Fireship, people. Okay. Clearly a good move. Clearly a good move. Oh, okay. Well, that felt good. That feels really good. What benefit does this language even offer? Smallest compiler. Did you not... Recursive main function. It doesn't have shitty variables or classes. You just got what you need, which is a one-dimensional array. Of bytes. I mean, that's really all your program is anyways. It's just a big-ass array of bytes, okay? You're just putting all this meaning, okay? You're implicitly casting chars to things like not chars. It's disgusting. It's as Turing intended. A big and infinitely long strip of paper or 30,000 bytes. That's, I mean, that's probably infinity back in his day. 30,000 bytes, that's out outstanding. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge, I, I think brain, I think, uh, I think serverless brain f is where it's at. Okay. I really do think that that's where it's at. Perhaps one day, if I have enough time, we'll create our own JavaScript f where you can output elements and you just have, you have 30,000 DOM nodes to use and you have to wiggle around and output them.